गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज अ फेमस क्वेश्चन मींस इट्स इट्स अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज आस्क्ड टू बिल गेट्स इन एन इंटरव्यू द सेम क्वेश्चन आई वांट टू आस्क यू वाओ इफ यू लूज एवरीथिंग द व्हाटएवर अचीवमेंट्स यू मेड इन लाइफ व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू आर गोइंग टू टेक टू रिगेन दैट अचीवमेंट्स मैम ओके सो सी अचीवमेंट्स लाइक सक्सेस एंड फेलियर्स देयर इज नथिंग लाइक अ फेलियर यू नो यू ईदर यू लर्न और यू विन यू विन और यू लर्न सो even if i have lost so much in life i have learned so much from whatever failures and uh, successes that i have got it is those lessons that i want to regain more than my achievements or trophies or anything and in life it's it's not definitely about achievements there are so many people who have much less than what you have okay only when you lose something do you know the importance of losing it's about being happy with whatever you have i would not do anything to regain those i would make myself ready for the next ones thank you ma'am thank you madam uh, when you were child what kind of particular aim you had okay i always wanted to be in service like being a doctor was uh, was definitely my uh, uh, childhood dream because uh, i was someone who was like i don't know at that age i somehow liked madhu teri sir i i used to read about a lot of eminent personalities be it apj abdul kalam sir be it sachin tendulkar i used to be inspired by those huge trophies that they got i also wanted that at some point of stage but i didn't know how to go about i wanted to be like them but i don't know which path to take and what to become so all i did was just utilizing the opportunities which the world has given me and uh, just moving about with a disciplined life every day that was my thing uh, right from my childhood i always wa- uh, woke up early in the morning my discipline is what made me stand today and uh, who motivated you madam uh, on that time uh my mom so my mom is someone um, who actually you know she worked in us for like 2 years and then she gave up her job and then she came back for me so right from my 8th standard like she's completely given up on her every on her dreams just to fulfill my dreams without her i am just nothing <laughs> who is your inspiration my inspiration as i said it's dr apj abdul kalam sir because uh, it's he who inspired me to be going to to uh, all the colleges and schools and inspiring the youth he used to do that and he actually inspired me to be doing what i'm doing right now thanks ma'am thank you hello ma'am hi uh, i would like to ask that didn't you ever get diverted from your goal so my goal okay so um, i think for us the biggest diversion that we ever can have is our cell phones and our social media that's the only di- i mean that's the biggest diversion i can say uh maybe because i didn't have a phone or a computer till my mbbs third year it helped me a lot it helped me not getting diverted but at this present stage i think it is a necessity to have it but it's about you know if you really want to win something then you yourself will channelize your time put it aside and then utilize your time properly you know how much time you want to use on your phone you know how much time you have to study so it it it's it's about how determined you are to to actually win your goal thank you so much ma'am welcome good morning ma'am good morning i think the person who is sitting over here each and every one they have the dreams they want to be successful but on the contrary part they don't want to work hard so what is the message that you would like to give them um i don't know if you're actually depending on luck luck doesn't come so easily so hard work is the key for everything you may be intelligent you may be smart but still if you don't work you're not reaching your goal definitely you have to work hard to reach a particular goal have a disciplined uh, life and then you know time management and proper planning and you know executing those plans are extremely important sometimes luck m- might favor but without hard work believe me it's not it's very difficult to achieve any goal thank you so much thank you ma'am Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. First of all, your dance was awesome, ma'am. It was Thank beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, and I wanted to ask you that uh, at such a young age, you achieved so much. Uh, even we uh, want to achieve some things, but there are so many restrictions, so many uh, divergences in our life that uh, we cannot uh, achieve what we want to do. 
So uh, what would be our message to us that uh, uh, how could we cope up with all those difficulties and uh, achieve what we want? As I said, like I became an achiever against a lot of odds, okay, a lot of discriminations and rejections what happened to me. And um, life is definitely not easy. So for you, the only message I would say is don't give up on your passion just because of some kind of societal discriminations or whatever you are facing in your life. Stick to your goals and follow your passion and definitely believe in yourself. One day you will definitely achieve your goal when you are actually doing that disciplined practice every day. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Firstly, good afternoon ma'am. Good afternoon. Have you ever felt sad when a task or the goal is not achieved in life or have you draw the inspiration in life when you are demotivated? Definitely because we all are humans, we feel sad. Okay? There are moments that you know, right after uh, not achieving something, you actually feel very sad. But it's about how you wake up again and then rise like a phoenix the next day itself. Okay? So maybe it's, it's, it's very human to feel low for a day. But it's about you know, thinking that this is not the end. And life gives you many more opportunities that are coming your way. This is definitely not the end of your life. Just have that patience. Let that right time come for you to achieve that right thing. Just have patience, have belief in yourself and just believe in whoever God that you believe in. And then definitely it's going to come to you someday. Thank you ma'am.